everybody so I know like you I'm very excited about release of the Sims 4 uh, the official release is in 2014 so it's coming up um, I recently heard that actually EA had uh, registered the domain name for the Sims 4 so that's super exciting and I'll give a link to that in the description I just wanted to talk about today some of the frequently asked questions about The Sims 4 and just kind of things I was curious about and so I figured everyone else probably was curious about it as well. Um, the first question is what can you tell us about The Sims 4? And it says The Sims 4 celebrates the heart and soul of The Sims themselves, giving players a deeper connection to the most expressive, surprising, and charming Sims ever in the single player offline experience. The Sims 4 encourages players to personalize their world with new and intuitive tools while offering them the ability to effortlessly share their creativity with friends and fans. Mm, who knows what that means? <laughs> How do I stay up to date with the latest info on The Sims 4? It says head over to www.thesims.com slash The Sims 4 and sign up for a newsletter. So I'll also have a link for that in the description. When will it be available? It will be available worldwide in 2014. What platforms will the game be available on? The Sims 4 will be available for PC and Mac. I know that The Sims 3 there, I have the console version for the PlayStation and I think there's the Xbox version so I'm assuming at some point it'll be available on consoles too if that's how you prefer to play. Um, what will The Sims 4 be rated? The Sims 4 is not yet rated. Uh, I'm assuming the rating will be the same as The Sims 3 just you know that would be silly to change that. Will there be an online component for The Sims 4? There will be additional fun and social gameplay elements for players who choose to go online. More to come on that later, but the core game is designed to be played offline. It's up to the player to choose how they want to play. That's good and bad. Like, sometimes I wish there was this like huge global neighborhood thing and I could have a house next to my friends and my friends could visit me and my Sims and you know, if I'm not signed on, then they wouldn't be able to come over my house. But I kind of do like to play by myself because, I don't know, it just depends on how you're feeling that day, I guess. Uh, and with that whole SimCity debacle, people were really worried that they would have to have the persistent online connection, but they confirmed that that will not be a problem. Um, the next question. We noticed that the fans were among the first to receive this announcement. Why did you go that route? Duh. It makes sense to me, but <laughs> let's see what they said. The Sims has always been about the fans. There are millions of them across social networks and it's passion that keeps them alive. This is their creativity and devotion to the Sims that fuels our creativity. So it's natural that we'd come to them first with big news. That makes sense. This is just the beginning for our fans. We're bringing a select few into our inner circle and they'll get special access to the development team and we'll have visibility into key parts of the game as it develops. So I guess they're referring to when they invited Curtis and Queen over to EA. Um, so actually that's good because people who play the game know more about the game sometimes than the people who make the game. <laughs> Uh, who are the, some of the people that are making The Sims 4? The Sims 4 is currently in development at The Sims Studio in Redwood City, very near me, and the team making this game is comprised by, it's supposed to be comprised of veterans whose experience dates back to the inception of the franchise. We have folks like Robbie Cocker, Lindsay Pearson, and Kevin Gibson who have been with the series since the beginning. Others such as Ray Mazza and Samantha Mazzelli have been with the team since The Sims 2. We can't wait to introduce you to more of the team. I have no idea who any of those people are and if I mispronounce your name, I apologize. Who, what do the eyes in the image mean? They say that they are the eyes into the window of the soul. Let's just say the eyes are just a window into the future of The Sims 4. Stay tuned for more. I don't know. I just thought it was just a clever way to show stuff or not show stuff. So. I think that's probably the real story. What are the minimum hardware requirements for The Sims 4? 
We are working to make the game accessible to as many players as possible. We will let you know once we've locked in the specs. Yeah, probably they won't know until much later because it's built for, like, you know, computers going forward probably like three or four years from now. So I'm sure you have to have a good computer to play The Sims 4 because you have to have a good computer to play The Sims 3. Are you still developing content for The Sims 3? Yes, we have a brand new world, Dragon Valley, coming out at the end of May. Awesome. We have The Sims 3 Island Paradise shipping on June 25th. We have future themed expansions arriving in fall 2013. Beyond that, we continue to create content for The Sims 3 store. That's good. But, I mean, it's probably just going to be a situation like, as long as people buy it and they make money, then they will make content. <laughs> anyway, I hope everybody else is excited for The Sims 4. Um, tell me what you think in the comments below and how you feel about it coming out. I'm excited uh, and I, I hope that I will be able to play it with you all. Thanks. Bye bye.